welcome to my top Sabbath albums, my top Black Sabbath albums in order of worst to best. This is going to be the Aussie era, 70s Black Sabbath, the 70s Aussie. Um, I'm going to choose my favourite song from each album, maybe say a little bit about each album, show you each album. Um, so let's get started, I don't think there's all else to say on that really. Coming in at number 8 is the 8th album. This is Never Say Die. This was I believe the last album with Ozzy in. Um, my least favourite album but that is by no means it means it is a bad album because all Black Sabbath Ozzy albums are just on point for me they are anyway if we can get inside I do love myself a Black Sabbath album As you can see, I'm rocking the Black Sabbath t-shirt today. I don't know if you can see that right. Yeah, the eighth album, uh, Never Say Die. Like I say, it's not a bad album. It's my least favorite album of the Aussie 70s era, but not a bad album at all. My favorite song on here is actually Junior's Eyes. I like the instrumentals in that man, some good guitar in Tony. Tony Iommi knows how to do his shit man. Um, and that is the eighth place, the eighth album also, Never Say Die. Next up, coming in at seven. This is the sixth album. This is Sabotage. Like I say, it doesn't mean it's a bad album just because it's so low. They're still excellent albums. I still enjoy them all. And if you don't agree with me, well, it's up to you, man. I mean, you've got your own choices. These are just my personal preferences. Mm, just a white sleeve inside, your regular black vinyl. Yeah, these are just my preferences of my favourite Sabbath albums. We don't all have the same taste in music, but these are mine. And my favourite song of Sabotage is A Symptom of the Universe. It's um, an excellent song. Again, the guitar in it is just out of this world. I like Ozzy's voice in this one, it's very raw, it's got a good vibe to it man. Um, so that is the seventh, al seventh place and album number six. Coming in at number six is a bit of a controversial one actually. This might surprise a lot of people, and this will probably people a lot. Or a lot of people just disagree with this decision altogether. But um, yeah, it is coming in at number six for me. It is Black Sabbath's original album, Black Sabbath. One of the best album covers. I love this album cover. The artwork and the the pioneered the sound with this album, man. They just literally brought the sound. This was new territory, man, for heavy metal. You know, the metal sound, the metal creators, pretty much. Um, that's the back. It's just the standard black vinyl in there. Nothing fancy, nothing special. Um, my favourite song off this Black Sabbath vinyl is actually Black Sabbath. 
That's um, that's one of the first Black Sabbath songs I really, really did dig, which was I believe Ozzy's first song, Black Sabbath. The lyrics in that man, they're just pretty dark. I like that. I like my dark music and that. That is dark. Um, it's got a very heavy vibe. It's a great opening song. I mean, like, when Ozzy first penned it out, oh, it was a gate sleeve actually. Let me show you inside. Let's go inside. Yeah, Black Sabbath opening song. It's a. Uh, it's an hard one to beat, man. I mean, it's a good song to start on. Um, this Black Sabbath is actually my third favourite Black Sabbath song of all time. So, Black Sabbath album. And that is my number six. The first album, Black Sabbath. Coming in at where are we at? Coming in at number five is this is probably gonna be a surprise also to a lot of people. Gets some bad press. Not quite sure why because I enjoy the album. I think it's a quite a strong album. I mean, not all the songs are strong. The second half is a bit weaker than the first half for me. But side one really kicks for me, you know what I mean? And it is coming in at number five, the seventh album, Technical Ecstasy. I'm not keen on the artwork of this album cover, I'm going to be honest. It's not my favourite Black Sabbath artwork. It's very, um, I don't know. Casserish, maybe. I don't know my art, you know, but it's not my vibe. This is what the back looks like. And there's the songs, you can see them. This is what we get inside. It's just some um, adverts for some old records in this one. Priceless. You know, people like Status Quo, David Essex, Rod Stewart, Finn Lizzy. Just that first man, for uh, your regular black vinyl. Um, my favourite song on Technical Ecstasy is You Won't Change Me, the second song. So that is Technical Ecstasy. Coming in at number five, the seventh album, Take the Collectacy. Right. In at number four is probably another controversial choice, maybe. Might be, might not. It's the second album. This is Paranoid, the probably the most famous album out there of Black Sabbath, back in my opinion. Most people have heard a few songs off this. Most people have heard Paranoid. Even if you're not a Sabbath fan, War Pigs probably heard Iron Man. Um, yeah, this is in at number four. Um, quite surprised about that because there's some iconic songs on this. Some real iconic songs. There's... Um, if you're going to start on Sabbath, this is probably the album to begin on. Once we get inside. And inside, it's just dry and your regular black vinyl that you've got on us all of them, a nice swirl pattern. My favourite song on Paranoid. Um, probably going to be a surprise. My favourite song on Paranoid is also my, it's actually my second favourite Sabbath song and that is Planet Caravan. 
that's a little bit chilled out vibe of it. Give a fuck the sound of it. It um, takes me away to another place. I can I can definitely dig the vibe of Planet Caravan. So that is number four. Number four, the second album, Paranoid. Right. In third is the third album, Master of Reality. So um, a really good album this. I think it inspired a lot of stoner, sort of metal, stoner rock. A lot of doom influence in is taken from this album, I'd say. The regular black and swirly pattern. So I won't go show you the actual vinyl. Um, my favourite song on this is my favourite Sabbath song ever. Probably again another surprise to you all. It's not Sweet Leaf. It is actually Solitude. Solitude is my favourite Black Sabbath song of all time. And this album has got some cool instrumentals on there like Embryo and Orchid. Um, it's just a good... Good album, man. A lot of good riffs in this album. Um, that's Master of Reality. My third favourite album. And the third album of Black Sabbath. In at number two. Dun, dun, dun. Runner up at number two. We have... The fourth album, Black Sabbath Volume 4. This is an excellent album. Um, I enjoy the artwork, it's very minimal, but it is cool. Let's see the inside. I do own other Black Sabbath albums, but they are live, so I didn't include them in this because this is just about the studio albums of Ozzy Osbourne when he was in Black Sabbath in the 70s. Um, I haven't got his later album, but I did with Black Sabbath, but this is a 70s Ozzy. And um, yeah. My second favourite album, Volume 4. My favourite song on Volume 4 is actually Snowblind, which is a song about addiction to cocaine, which Ozzy suffered from. Um, a close second song, actually, which also nearly made the cut. It was um, Changes. Which I know is a very commercial song. Probably not got a lot of love, but Ozzy's voice is just haunting in it. You know, the um, the old vibe of changes. I just love the lyrics, man. It means a lot. Sounds like it means a lot to him. Um, but Snowblind is my favourite song because that one just is. Um, it's got a um, winter cool sort of chill chill vibe gu guitar riffs to it you know what I mean um, so yeah the second second best album for me of Sabbath is the fourth album so that can only leave number one and in that number one might be a surprise to you all but it is the fifth album and it is Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. I like the artwork on this album. Very good artwork as well. That's the back. I've listened to most of these albums back to back over and over again. And then we've got that inside. Ozzy is just a legend, his voice just speaks to you man, especially in this album which is why it makes it my number one album. 
his voice just speaks to me throughout this album. It's like he's sending messages subliminally, you know. Yeah, standard black vinyl. Um, oh, fuck, there's a lot of good songs on here. Killing Yourself to Live, Love That, Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, Love That, Who Are You, Awesome. But my favourite Sabbath song on Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath is A National Acrobat. That song just speaks to me. I mean, a close second is probably Killing Yourself to Live because at the time I was listening to that, yeah, I won't, I won't get into that about it. It was like, um, it was around COVID times. It was a cool song, man. Yeah, Killing Yourself to Live. Um, and National Acrobat, that's my favourite song off this one. Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. My favourite Black Sabbath Aussie era album of all time. None beat it for this. For me, none beat this. That is Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. A National Acrobat being my favourite song off there. Um, thank you for listening. I'm thinking about doing maybe some Mad Chester some indie rocks, you know, some um, Britpop, stuff like Oasis, Happy Mondays, whatnot. I'm thinking about doing that for the next video, if that's of any interest to anyone, or if not any interest on that, I could do some black metal. Um, let me know, just drop a, drop a comment, let me know what, what vibe you want, and I'll try cater to you um, I'll show some more of my collection I'll do some more countdowns in the future I hope this has been interesting I hope, I hope you've enjoyed my views even if you haven't agreed with them um, thanks for listening like and subscribe thank you